Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, I'm in the car again. So it's my good time. Um, I wish I was somewhere else. Anyhow, Ron, buddy, pal, caught your handiwork, dude. At least I'm fairly certain you did it. It took me a while. First, I thought TJ wanted to do a little hug, love session, you know, a little false logic and that kind of thing. And I thought about it. I said, Nah, she wouldn't want to do that. But she would rather me just disappear. And then I said, well, Barbara wouldn't have a problem because Barbara has my phone number and Barbara can call me and Barbara and I can talk even if we were mad beyond belief at each other. So, no, it couldn't have been Barbara. And then I started wandering around and I said, well, you know, McGraw can, it really has a temper. Maybe McGraw did. And I started thinking about it going, why would she? It doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. Even for her, she would. She just wouldn't do it, you know? I mean, I, I'm, I'm thinking through a couple hundred variations and it just. No, she would not. Not that one. Other ones? Yeah, that one, no. She might think about it on other ones, but she wouldn't do it on that one. No, no. So it couldn't even grow either. And of course, we know Ashes the Raven is running around flagging everybody trying to start up trouble again. But see, the thing is, I didn't ever have trouble with Josh on anything. Josh and I never had problems with each other. He backed me up, I backed him up on a few things. We just don't have that thing, you know, for each other. But he does with the others. So that leaves one person, Ron. Somebody who might have been arguing with. And that would be you. Ron, buddy, you best hope that video don't come back up. Because if it does, I will tell you right now, Miss will be all over you like molasses for the comments you made. See, I kept quiet about it and I'm looking down, but you little flagging deal, which I'm sure it was you. Well, I'm going to let her have you. And she will chew you up one side and spit you out the other. You see, Ron, here's the truth. I think she thinks she's afraid of me in some shape, form, or fashion. I really do. But the truth of the matter is, Ron, I'm more afraid of her than she is of me. That's a fact. That woman's scary. Especially when she loses her temper. That is one scary woman. I'm not kidding, man. She is really frightening. Um, but I want to turn her loose on you, buddy. Because, you see, I still have my word and promise to Sabella. And I will not ever betray my sister. Now, she says, uh, on, I'm thinking she's saying, on this given topic, uh, I can have at you. As long as I'm staying within certain confines. And, and I'm, uh, I'm assuming from her language that she's indicating I can't go out and pursue you directly. But I can respond to things that you do. So, Ron, buddy, you know what my response is? I'm turning Miss Loose on you if that video comes up. Because she already knows because I've already told her. Now, once it pops up, she'll read it for herself, and then you and her will have problems from this point forward. And I tell you what, Ron, if you think I'm bad? Ho-ho, <laughs> you haven't seen a temper yet. That woman will kick your butt, Ron. You will wish it was me. <laughs> well, Ron, uh... Try to have a good and blessed day. <laughs> You're going to need it if it comes up. <laughs> I'm turning her loose on you. <laughs> have a good day, Ron. Uh, I think it's time for you to spend time with the uh, um, blonde Taz. That's what I call her when I'm mad at her. The blonde Taz. Oh, you see his hairy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> he gave me catch me to not be so mad at her. 
That's where we have pictures of as a Tasmanian devil and you know around the teeth and you know, blonde and you know Taz. It's an old cartoon. But that's where I put my mind to make me not so mad at her anymore. Well, you have fun with that, Ron. And I hope that video does come up because there was no reason for it to be flagged except to hide your sin. Have fun with that, Ron. Take care.